Hi, I'm Valerie Milano, the editor of the Hollywood Times, and I'm going to let T go ahead and start since she's with our company. Then we'll go. Hi, I'm T. I'm T. Felder. I'm one of the writers here at the Hollywood Times, and we're doing an interview on a film called Red Camaro. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hey, I'm Jimmy Viver. Um, I'm an actor. I play the character, The Kid. I'm Kalila Jordan, and I play Bacardi. And I am Detrick McClure. I'm the writer, director of Red Camaro. Perfect. Um, Detrick, we'll start with you. Um, I just wanted to know a little bit about your background with uh, directing and, and just uh, how you got kind of your start in the film industry. Yeah, you know, I've been here uh, for a long time. I've been in L.A. since the early 90s, and this is my 12th film. Um, you know, I uh, basically I'm an independent filmmaker. I just work outside of the boundaries, and I enjoy that because there's a lot of freedom, and um, I just don't seem to fit into the machine. And so I just kind of do my thing independently, and it's worked, so, it's worked out for me so far. Nice, nice. And... Like, what was, how did you come up with the concept for, for this particular film? Uh, so, Red Camaro, I, you know, I've made a lot of films, and I just wanted to make a fun film. I think the, my previous film had, was in some degree a reaction to, you know, 2020 and a lot of social political things that were going on at that time. And I just wanted to make a film that was fun and that had music. And, um, and, and so, Red Camaro... My first car when I turned 16, I got a red Camaro. And so red Camaro for me means like freedom and that youthful, you know, irresponsibility where you can, you know, you feel invincible and you can just do anything you want to. Um, and, you know, I wanted to create these two characters who just felt that way about themselves, who just didn't see themselves like in any kind of box and was just very, you know, uh, that they were free and open to do um, whatever they wanted. And also it just has, it has a lot of music like, it's funny, like, I look at it now, and it's almost like I made the, the, the teenage 80s film that I, with, with Black people, that, you know, I was missing in my youth. Oh, nice, nice. And then as far as in regards to your casting process, uh, did you already have Khalil and Jimmy in mind, or did, did, you, uh, did they have to audition, or what was the process of that? Well, thanks to Phaedra Harris. Phaedra is a casting director, someone I've known for a while. And she suggested, uh, she sent me some tapes and, and Kalila stepped like, like it was, there wasn't even close. It was like, nobody else was like, Oh, who's this girl? She's crazy. She's very uninhibited, like, you know, very open and just like, I'll do whatever kind of a thing, but not in a crazy way, like in a controlled kind of way. Uh, and then with Jim, well, first of all, I got to say, I dodged a bullet because there was another actor that I was looking at. And then like, I and, like it, it was not going well. And, and luckily, we both agreed to part ways. And then I saw Jimmy and there was just like, you know what, Jimmy, he doesn't like me to say he always wants to be clean shaven. But like, I like him clean shaven because like I can see his face and like he's, he's got like a strong face, a youthful face and just a vulner there's a vulnerability about him that I'm always looking for particularly in black males, because like the whole like tough black badass motherfucker, I'm the baddest motherfucker on the planet, black guy thing, for me is like boring and cliche and like like a cartoon. And so right. Jimmy has like, uh, like a realness to him that like, I was like, that's what I want. Nice, nice, very, very good, nice. very good, very good. Thank you, Gertrude. Um, yeah, so I appreciate you for um, answering our questions. I kind of wanted to go along to Kalila and ask her about her experiences as, I don't know, this is your first leading role, right? Yeah. So I want to know kind of like, how was, how was that? Um, it was like a dream come true. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, uh, I loved it. I, I auditioned for the project, Phaedra, like, Detrick talked about Phaedra sent me the information about it. And she was like, hey, this seems like a great role for you. You should audition for this. And I was like, OK, let me read through it. And I'm like, this actually sounds like a part like I've been wanting to play for a long time. Um, you said you always wanted to be a stripper. I always wanted to be a stripper. Yeah, <laughs> I always wanted to play a stripper. And I had. I have so, played. I have to jump off. I'm sorry, Khalil. I, I love you. I love everybody. Okay. Jump off. Okay. 
Okay, Detrick. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, but yeah, I did say that to him. I was like, yeah, I always wanted to play a stripper. And I had done like uh, music videos here and there where I would like be a stripper, but I never had lines. I was like a featured extra or something or like in the Usher music video real quick. They did like a, a quick little glance. And I'm like, this is the moment to be doing it. And it's like, there was so many more layers to it though. that I was like, I have to take this role. I've never been presented a role like this ever. So this is like my moment to get some experience and make it happen. That's good. Um, yeah. Were there like, did you find any part of it challenging or was it just really easy to just jump in there? It was challenging. Um, long hours that, um, you know, I, I'm used to being on set for a long time, but since this is a independent film, you know, we didn't have a huge budget. So sometimes it was a little grimy like we were out on the streets and we like sitting in our car waiting around and we're like oh my god how long now right we had to push through or like uh the pool scene jimmy that was like one of our worst scenes when we got in that pool it was not warm it was extremely oh, cold god. it was freezing cold and we were trying to act like oh we're in love and we're like we're freezing <laughs> <laughs> that was rough and then actually um the singing the song i yeah. never sang on camera before so i was like what okay i could do it but this is gonna be a challenge it's gonna be something different for me so i pushed through and i'm so happy i did it good good that's really good um jimmy i had couple questions for you too. Um, in regards to your role um, as the kid, can you talk a little bit about um, your role and how you felt about it? And can you talk about, you know, maybe what the takeaway for viewers would be from the role? Absolutely. Yeah. When I first got the script, obviously read it over and just right after the first few pages, I, I already resonated with the character. Um, if there was any chance in a lifetime I can steal cars and be this uh, badass guy and actually get away with it, I'm like, okay, it's definitely this role right here for sure. So uh, just, you know, reading the character at, at first definitely resonated. Um, inter interestingly, after reading the full script, there was a few things within the script that, that I automatically was like, no. Um, meaning I just wasn't willing to challenge myself, right? But I was like, you know what? If you see yourself as this leading man, which you ultimately do, you know, you need to step up and 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 really see what you can actually do, right? So obviously I put the audition on tape, ended up meeting with Detrick, and then we ended up, you know, speaking about uh, the script itself, and then he ended up offering me a DM job. So actual shooting itself was absolutely challenging. Day one, freezing pool. I learned so much about myself. I get cold fast, even though I'm originally from Boston. So like I'm used to being in the cold in like winter. But inside this pool, y'all, your boy was shivering, right? <laughs> so it's like I learned how to try to control my body but obviously we are there to work you know capture the scene as soon as we can in the minimal amount of takes so we were able to get through that and then after that it was just really going up every day as prepared as I can being open to any type of changes Detrick mentions um obviously working with this one here you know just bouncing off you know just uh vibing on set and um it was a challenging role, but obviously looking back, I'm glad that I did it and I've grown so much since then. And I am happy with how the project actually turned out. Nice. And then as far as like, uh, what what do you think the viewers would take away from it? Like what, what are the, the lessons of the character you feel? Yeah. You know, I think one lesson that they will definitely take from is um, it's, it's okay to be free, you know, to be a free spirit uh, to a certain extent, just because one 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 feedback that I'm receiving is a lot of people is like, I wasn't expecting the ending. 
right? Which I, which I actually like that, you know, because it, it, it leaves people like, oh, wow, at the end, you know? Um, so we see the kid go through this journey, making these decisions and the typical movie fashion, they run off in the sunset, right? So with this ending, you know, it's a different situation there. And um, so the lesson that I hope people will take away is it's a, it's okay to be free, but being free is going to catch up to you at some point. <laughs> right, right. Um, are you guys, uh, have you guys been in it? I know it's an independent film. Have you guys done any festivals or anything? Yep. So we did the, we recently did the Las Vegas Film Festival last month, which was a great experience. We we all made it down there. Um, we were able, able to do the world premiere there. And we actually ended up winning the best feature film there, uh, matter of fact. Yes. So that was very exciting. Um, I had a great experience. I'm sure Khalila can let you know how she felt about it. Yeah, our first screening was at a festival. And I think that was my second festival because we, me and Jimmy, we keep working together. Like we did Angie's Cure together. It was another That's film right. that we did together. And we ended up having the same trailer. <laughs> and, we, <laughs> and then we did, like, we started yeah. off in acting class together and they partnered yeah. us up. And like, yeah, we just keep working together. So yeah. it was meant to be, it was meant to be. It was meant to be, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did a project called Angie's Cure, which it still hasn't been released yet to the world. It's been um, in like festivals so far. And we both had smaller roles there. And on set, they had us on set at the same day. There was some issues with the number of trailers for the number of actors. So they ended up uh, putting us in to this room waiting to, you know, uh, shoot. And I remember we actually had a conversation like, hey, even though we're working this, we got Red Camaro on the way. The nice. world isn't ready. You know what nice. I mean? So, uh, <laughs> very excited to 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 just even look back and see, wow, we did do a smaller role on like another project, but now we've got our own film in which we're leads in that. It's a beautiful thing. There's nice. been a lot of growth, a lot of growth. Absolutely. Nice. So uh, Kalila, what's, what's next for you? Hmm. We got another film on the way. She can't leave me alone. It's crazy. I don't know why. <laughs> We another got another one. film on the way, uh, directed by Detrick again. Um, it's called The Deceivers, and it's when was it going to release, Jimmy? Next year? Uh, yeah. So it it was supposed to be set for a release later this year, but Detrick confirmed they'll be completing post production by like November. So it should be complete, and then I'm sure we'll figure out, you know, what's the best time. Obviously, everything with the industry right now, uh, you know, figure out what's the best strategy moving forward. Right. Nice. nice. Okay, that's really great. And um, we definitely want our readers to know where they can find you. Do you guys have websites, social media? You guys, can you guys plug that now so we can get that over to our readers? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my website, kalilaj.com. I'm a dance fitness instructor, aside from my acting. And that's what's coming up for me other than the film. Like I'm just releasing workouts, workouts, workouts. Um, so if you go to my website, then you can be connected to all the different platforms that I'm on. I'm working with Pop Sugar, so you can do my workouts for free on YouTube. Also, I have a program on Fabletics website, fabletics.com, Hip Shake Fitness, and Steezy, steezy.com. So in a, in a nutshell, just go to my website. You can find everything there. KalilaJ.com. Thank you. That girl's working. Okay. She's working. <laughs> um, I've got my website, JimmyVBear.com. I'm very active on Instagram and uh, Facebook. You can find me on Instagram at the Jimmy V, which is T H E E Jimmy V. And um, I'm also in the uh, real estate game here in the Los Angeles market, you know, so I'm always helping my clients either buy or sell real estate. But um, these next few months, months, I've been trying to focus on focusing on the acting community, but educating them in the real estate game. I feel like that's one thing that a lot of actors they want to understand it more, but most of the time they're just thinking about booking their next 
projects, you know. So it's like if I could um, instill some information now that maybe two, three years down the line, they can actually um, um, utilize, you know, that's my goal. Nice. Well, I really thank you guys for coming in and, and doing this interview. Do you guys have anything else before we, we close out? Oh, I mean, first of all, thank you for having us. Like I said, this is, I'm very appreciative. You know, everything helps for sure. Both of you guys, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your time. I sound like I'm really quiet, but I'm usually not. I just think T asks the best questions. And especially since she's, she knows Kay, I just thought, yay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know where to find us. The That's Hollywood right. Times dot today and our YouTube is the Hollywood Times official. So I'm pretty sure T will put a link um, to this interview in the article that is already up and live. And I also want to say thank you for your time as well. And uh, nice to meet you virtually. And hopefully we can all meet in person soon. Yes. I look forward to that. that and keep good. up the great work, kids. Love it. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Yay. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye.